What up, what up, Extreme Gaming Universe? It is your boy, Extreme Gaming, bringing you guys another Madden 23 tip, guys. Um, we're coming out of the Miami Dolphins playbook. Um, I want to say... It's either Miami or New England, one of the two. 3-4 um, Cub, guys. My mind is not here with me. Uh, so this play or this blitz that I'm going to bring you is, is going to be a blitz that is going to if they're not blocking the running back and they sending everybody out on Ross, okay so three four cub and uh i made some substitution guys so i put jackson here because his speed is better than brandon graham uh davis the rookie out of georgia i put him in because he's faster than fletcher cox and then of course sweat is a lot faster than barnett so they're my three substitution on the front. Um, yeah, so then, like I said, three, four, Cub. And the play is going to be called Trio Sky Zone. Um, so I ran it against uh, single back. I did it against some shotgun um, and whatnot. So I'm just going to show you the, the play here. Let's just go with vertical drags here. Uh, so against under center, all you want to do is base a line, shift your line to the left, slant outside, and QB contain. And that is it. Two things are either going to happen here. You can uh, make whatever adjustments you want after this. Uh, you can play the hard flash, the cloud flash, whatever you want. You, you should either get edge pressure, you should get this linebacker, Edwards, to loop in. You don't have to kind of hover here, but you want to distract the line. But you guys see here that the pressure comes in looping into that um, zone right there or into the B gap, A gap. I don't even. But you guys will see here that you'll get this. When you crash them out, you'll get these two guys, uh, Selick and number 56, to come in and just basically try to cover two guys and you see that this guy is in the backfield by the time he tries to throw that uh, out or right outside to that running back to get it off he's going to not be able to get it there so again base the line base the line slant line um, shift line to the left crash outside QB contain you can underneath coverage whatever um, you want to do there uh, your job is to basically cover the middle of the, of the field and you guys will see here now that you guys will get the pressure come in what I noticed with this with this blitz is that occasionally you'll get 75 you see how look at that see how he just looped around both men occasionally you'll get that I don't know why but you guys see that you get the pressure coming in. Um, like I said, it's the easiest blitz to set up. Base line, shift line left, slant outside, QB contained, and then you can make whatever adjustments you want for this. When you snap the ball, you guys will see here now that both men come in untouched. Um, I tried against a block running back, guys. It, it doesn't. I tried every possible uh, angle with it and I can't get it to come in. So I'm gonna try it with the block running back. You see how he gets picked up, but you get the uh, the shed off the linebacker and you still get some there. But like I said, this is best run against an uh, unblocked running back and they're sending out all the receivers out and running backs out. But you guys will see here, he comes in off the edge. I don't know why he got picked up there. All right. must have missed a step there but you guys go and they got through the run the offensive line got there late but you guys will see that he'll still get in snap the ball and look comes in again um i'll show you against another shotgun formation here or I mean another single back formation. Um, 
like I said, I've tried it against multiple, uh, I even tried it with the base. Um, I think this one is the one I believe it might have came in. Um, against the block running back, I'm not 100% sure. You guys see here, no, he didn't. Yeah, so like, like I said, this is more for if they're sending everybody out, guys. So I'm gonna just send them. I messed up there. I'm, I'm working with two controllers, so I apologize for that one. So, like I said, baseline line, shift line, left, slant outside, keep it contained. Then, like I said, you can underneath coverage if you know they're going to the hard flats or, you know, curl routes, whatever you want to do. But you guys see that this guy comes in. He comes in untouched, and this is against single back um, base. Like I said, we're just putting this guy out in uh, the court, the running back in a uh, route. And you guys will see here that the linebacker gets caught up, but he still comes in. Um, I tried it against a few shotgun formations and it does come in, but shotgun is a little bit more, um, more of a, a different. So this is the, um, I'm trying to, this is single back uh, tights. So like I said, I'm gonna put him in a route. Even though he was like on a delay, but I don't want him on a delay. Just put him in a straight out route. And you guys will see here that this linebacker still comes in looping into that, that gap right there uh, for the quick sack. Now, um, that was against tight white flex okay um let's we can do trio as well um trios let's just go with sticks i'm gonna try with the running back blogging just to see like i said it's it's kind of you have, you have to probably send up another person see how he picks it up so like I said, with the block running back, it will pick it up. So I put him in a in a route, so you guys can see here. Put him here, snap the ball, and now you get the pressure from Reddit coming off the the edge there. So I mean, certain formations you'll get the edge. Uh, at certain formations, you get the loop to come in. Like right here, like I said, I get the loop again. I don't get the loop, but I get the edge pressure from Reddick. So certain formations, for some odds, strange reason, you'll get the edge instead of the loop, which, you know, you'll take either or. There, I forgot to uh, put the running back in a route. Like I said, baseline line, shift line to the left, slant outside, um, QB contain, and then like I said, adjust, make your adjustments how you feel fit. You see the uh, nano detection picked it up, because my guy was just going to scream in the line, uh, number 75. So you see that there the line now starting to do a better job picking it up but like I said the more you run it the more the offensive line is gonna pick that up and I forgot to unlock the running back again but see that the defense is there so I'm gonna show you guys some uh, shotgun formations uh, really quick I know that's where people want to like, I want to see shotgun. So let's just put this guy. So you guys will see that everybody's out on the run, on the route here. So 
like I said, same setup, baseline, shift line left, slant outside, keep it contained. Like, you really don't have to kind of hover. Uh, I just do that to drag the line, but look at that. You still get 57 to come in, looping in there um, for the sack. Uh, here, like I said, if you do this, it's optional. But you guys will see, like, this guy just comes screaming in, looping into that uh, B gap and getting a quick sack. Like I said, people on Blitz where the running back is blocking all the time, you're not going to get that all the time. And, man, guys, there are players that um, that are playing um, and they send out everybody. So this is, you know, for that particular reason, like, if they're sending everybody out. Um, but here goes another formation comes in on touch and you see how number 75 again wants to scream in here and come in on touch now if that was prior man's he would have that would have been an instant sack the quarterback would have been down but you guys know that they added that uh, nano detection system so it doesn't let the offense align uh, get in there but you guys see that this linebacker is coming in screaming inside of this um, in that gap again here goes the sack in there really quick really fast uh, I can show you guys one, one more formation guys and that'll be the end of the video um, if you guys are new to my channel make sure you guys comment like and subscribe for more Madden tip guys um i mean we can let's just try i have that one i did not try against play action so let's try against play action snap the ball and look at that against play action is gonna come you you'll get the edge pressure so if they run in play action guys run this um the thing is, if you don't pass commit, and I had somebody in one of my comment video, oh, of course it's going to come in because it's play action. Yeah, but the thing is, if you don't call, um, so let me, I'll show you here. I'm not even going to pass commit. Um, yeah, they pass commit there, but right here, you guys see that the pressure comes in against play action. So I'm not going to pass commit. I'm just going to run it without pass commit. And we're still coming in. Nation line slant QB. Yeah, I didn't pass commit. So yeah, I guess that's kind of weird. Because usually if you don't pass commit, then everybody bites down. And then you'll get caught in it. But the play is still coming in, even against um, play action. But like I said, the very, like I said, if they're running, here you get two people coming in. You get uh, 90 and really coming in. Like I said, well, like I said, we're just here. And it's coming off the edge. So against play action, it works pretty well. Um, like I said, if they're sending everybody out on a on a play, that's when you want to use this. And you guys will see here that Jalen Hurst is a stud. Got away from that tackle, but you guys are seeing it here. Um, Show you one more formation. All right, let's let's try against the outside run. Now, if it was like an outside run, I wouldn't shift the line. I will spread them. I will probably 
I'll probably slant them um, opposite way where I'm going. And then you see that they gang up on Miles Sanders really quick. Like I said, all you want to do is make sure you help out and try to blow up any hole or try to get to any hole that um that is open to help out your defense you see here you got 57 comes in and blows it up in the backfield so against the run let's see if we do it inside just the inside run just to see um see now with the inside run i would most likely slant inside um because you don't want to go out when you guys see that he cuts back in got about three yards but number 90 is there to to clean that up but like i said i'm right here i hit the hole and i get the um the stop yeah guys so let me know what you guys think of this play um I might end up trying a little bit later um, when I get any game. I right, saw so run against one more formation. Snap the ball. And this time you get the edge pressure. Like I said, it depends on the, the gun formation. It depends on the gun formation and where the tight ends are lined up. It depends on that's the pressure you're going to get. So with this one, with the uh, Y formation here, I believe that's what I picked. You'll get the, the pressure off the edge. And you might not have. I'm going to see without the contain. get past the tight end I think he's like on a delay block or something yeah but you guys see different formations you get different results in so let me know what you guys think guys until next time guys make sure you guys comment and subscribe thank you for everybody who has been subscribing the last past few days um thank you guys um until next time extreme game signing out peace